In this video, you're going to learn about Facebook marketing partners and the huge ecosystem that has grown up around the Facebook ad platform. We'll start by really understanding what Facebook marketing partners are or FMPs as they're known for short. And then we're start, going to start individually looking at some of these to really understand why you would need to use one of these Facebook marketing partners and the value add that they're really bringing to the table. So let's start by really understanding what these Facebook marketing partners are. Well, the key thing is that they're not just agencies. This is not a list of agencies that you can use. These are actually marketing partners who have additional technology features or services that are built on top of the Facebook ad platform. So you, you could maybe compare it to something like Hootsuite or Buffer that you might be used to using on social media. It's a similar type of value add that's built on top of the Facebook ad platform and really connected into it through an API. As you can see here, there are only 171 partners. So it's quite a small number of partners. And there are a number of different categories of partners as well. Specializations is what they call them. So there's ad technology, community management, content marketing, small business solutions, audience onboarding, audience data providers, and measurement. Let's just take a look at these small business solutions because you might be familiar with some of these names, Ad Espresso, Ad Roll, and Constant Contact. Now, the key thing about these Facebook marketing partners is if you are just advertising for your own business, you may not ever need to use these and uh, you don't need to understand them in a lot of detail. But if you are working in the industry, in an agency or in a company, you maybe need to understand at least what these are so that you can engage with conversations about them. So let's jump straight into actually looking at some of these individually to really understand the value add and some of the reasons why you might consider using them. So the first one here is Ad Espresso, and this is actually by Hootsuite. Now the key advantage of Ad Espresso, and it's listed right here in the homepage, is that it makes A-B testing painless. And the key thing is that you can create thousands of variants of your Facebook ads in only three clicks. So an example of how this might work is there is three fields. They just put in, they say put in three different headlines and they automatically create three different ads based off that. Or you just upload three images and then they automatically create three ads off that. So it's a way to really automate the process of A-B testing and um, has a better interface that's really geared around that. The thing that we have to remember is that the ads create tool or the power editor tool is really designed to serve all of the marketing objectives in one interface. It's really a platform to serve every single person. Whereas a lot of these platforms are really broken down to focus in on a particular feature like AV testing and has an interface that's more geared around that and makes that much easier to do. Now, in terms of some of these Facebook marketing partners and Ad Espresso in particular, let's have a look at the pricing for some of these. So we can see that the uh, base is $49 per month. Your Facebook ad spend is up to 3000 and you can see all the features there. Then it goes up to 150 and then 299. So I think for a lot of these Facebook marketing partners, the best practice is to make sure that you have proven your ROI inside ads create tool or power editor and then once you've got that done and you want to start to automate it and make it an easier thing to do and scale then you will start to use partners like this let's look at another example drift rock here and these guys are pretty interesting and they focus down on really lead generation so if we come into our ads create tool here we can just see that this is just one single marketing objective and this is what these guys really focus on. And they have built a bigger solution uh, to really support the whole life cycle of lead generation. So in terms of acquiring them, not just from Facebook, but also from Instagram and LinkedIn lead ad forms. And then in terms of what do you do afterwards, converting them. And there's all sorts of really trainings and guidelines and all of that stuff to really get those leads converted 
So it's really building a whole solution around that one marketing objective. Now let's look at another example of a Facebook marketing partner, which is Waller. And this really helps with content creation. And what Waller does is helps you find exceptional Instagram content creators for your brand. So it's really providing a simple structure, a safe marketplace to collaborate with instant Instagram content creators. So essentially you're outsourcing content creation. You upload a brief, you send it to creators, you agree on who it's going to be, and then you approve the content. And that's really a, a marketplace in order to do that and outsource some content creation work. Let's move on to another example here, which is a smartly.io. And once again, these guys are really focusing down on one particular thing, uh, an objective and niche really, which is e-commerce. That is the key additional features that I have, that they have are really around dynamic ads and scaling this and automating this whole process. So we can see in this example here that a Norwegian mobile phone provider uh, started automating their advertising after running Facebook ads manually for a number of years. And I think this is the key phrase to really think about. You would never consider using these guys straight away once you've kind of proven your understanding of it and proven in ROI, then you go to automate it because I think the price tag on this is something like a thousand dollars a month at a minimum level. So these are definitely for bigger, bigger companies. Next up, we've got AdRoll, and you might have heard about these guys before and not know exactly what they do, but they really focus in on retargeting. Now, as we looked at it in the course, this is just one of the many things that you can do, but they really focus in on it, and that's the core of their business. And they enable you to reach your customers everywhere and serve personalized ads across devices on the AdRoll premium network, including 500 networks and exchanges. So it's not just for Facebook and Instagram. It's also for Twitter, Tumblr, AOL, Google, LinkedIn, etc. So that is really what they do. Focus on retargeting across all networks, not just the Facebook network. Finally, we have constant contact and you may have heard of these guys before. They really focus and are known for email marketing but they're a Facebook marketing partner as well, are hooked in. And I found an interesting case study just to highlight some of the things that they can do here. So from this case study, because they were integrated with the ad platform, Constant Contact automatically populates ads with copy and images drawn from email campaigns. So that really allows you to use previous email campaigns to populate ads. And you would probably understand which of those email had uh, delivered the best, which headlines, etc. So it's a way of really connecting these things together. Now that you know what Facebook marketing partners are, you'll be able to discuss them at work or in business, and you can come in any time to the Facebook marketing partner directory. Look at all these guys individually if you wanted to take them on and use them as, as part of your Facebook advertising solutions.